Hey guys, it's tea time here with another speed build. I've got a fresh hot cup of tea in front of me and I'm totally excited about this one. Oh, sorry, that didn't sound excited, did it? <laughs> I am. This is fun. Um, it's, I decided to try and do some things on theme. I don't always do this, but I think I should start doing it because people are searching and it challenges my build style, I think. So what we have made today is the Chinese gardens, specifically Chinese New Year gardens. Fireworks included, though I did forget to actually put them in the video <laughs> but they're there if you download it um, so it is inspired by the year of the pig um, which is what this year is um, so yes um, it, it's a bit like a hideaway garden um, that I've made flowing through from one entrance to the other um, very full of uh, greenery some ponds and just a little uh, um, I'm not sure what you would call it a, sh a shrine or something look if I say something offensive or incorrect please correct me don't don't get angry at me just correct me I want to learn I want to learn and grow um, and I don't want to offend anyone but yeah this is a thing I'm experimenting with I'm not um, of Chinese background myself I am um, so I may get things wrong. Um, anyway, so I am building the little sort of, um, yeah, the little pagoda sort of thing now, which I do put a table on um, with some of the new content from the update for Chinese New Year. Uh, yeah, I just thought that this would be a nice little, I don't know, I don't often build community lots. I had to make this one a general lot because I didn't have enough space to put a toilet and a chess table and a oh who else hates the um the lot requirements I just wish I could name something a nightclub and it's a nightclub um not so many requirements like I need this many bar stools and I need this many toilets and a I don't like it it's a thing I don't like because I wanted to make this a park because sims don't often visit a general lot um, yeah they just don't and uh, I want them to visit this I want it to be a nice little walk through park but um, I did have to make it general in the end I am thinking possibly in future years that I would like to um, maybe uh, extend the park um, yeah this area specifically for the pig um, but I would like maybe to pick this up and put it inside a bigger lot and do an extension and maybe the year after I do another extension. So eventually end up with these huge Chinese gardens. I think that would be really cute. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of that idea. Sort of an ongoing Chinese New Year series where I just keep adding to my park. Um, if something is very wrong and actually offensive, please, please, please tell me because I want to fix it. Um, yeah, but I have mostly stuck with the uh, idea of red and gold. Um, yeah, um, especially uh, because the pig is, I think, an animal of fortune. I wanted to keep those, uh, the good, good colors in there. Yeah, um, so here I'm starting to work on some of the rocks. Um, there is a lot of rocks in this build. If you put this build in your game, it may slow it down. <laughs> Just a warning. <laughs> yeah, because I pretty much put uh, rocks and plants covering every surface except the ponds directly, actually, kind of in some circumstances, and um, on the paths. So it's very full of objects for a 30 by 20 lot. Um, yeah, anyway, if you do want to download it, it is on my gallery. You can always search my gallery uh, for Tea Time Simmer. Uh, I use the hashtag Tea Time Simmer. Um, otherwise, you can go looking for my gallery um, itself. Um, I do have all of my uploads on there from, uh, yeah, all my builds, sims I'm playing with, as well as creator sim special videos and a few other things I've done in the past. Yeah, it's very interesting. I had to go through recently and sort of delete some things because there's things I've modified from other um, creators for my personal use, but I did upload like a while ago. And 
obviously it's not my own creation and I sort of thought about it and I'm like, eh, especially if I'm starting YouTube, I don't want that to be in my image. I don't want to look like I'm stealing people's work because I'm not. It was just for personal use and somehow it ended up on my gallery. It was never for me to get the credit at all. Um, yeah, so I've gone through, cleaned it up quite a bit. So there's less on there than there used to be, but yeah, it's shaping up nice. Um, I'm not the greatest builder and the biggest uh, gallery content creator by any means. Uh, usually those people are actually not YouTubers. <laughs> They just focus on the building and some of the things they do are absolutely incredible. I suggest going and having a good browse. Um, yeah, um, just because it's it's inspiring. I don't know, are you someone like me who sees builds or watches build videos and then wants to go and build for yourself? Ah, I do that. I do that all the time. I like watch a live stream of Deligracy or something. She's like, I'm so inspired. I'm like, me too. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here I am starting to work on some of the greenery. Um, filling up this area so you can't really see any of the edges around the um, wall or around the pond walls. Um, just filling it right out. Um, I was looking at some images of Chinese gardens and they are very green. I made sure to get some different uh, type of greens in there to um, to represent because I know there's a lot of bright like lighter green also that um, is in those gardens. So yes I do work on that soon but here I am using the jungle adventure sort of um, ground covering plants to try and make things look yeah a lot more interesting in the pond and also I think those are jungle adventure um, little fern thingies what are they oh, I wish I could remember what they're called anyway, these are the um, lighter green uh, bushes and plants I'm using to bring those colors back into the build and um, yeah I use them quite a bit around the place um, just sizing them down to make them look more maybe like a hedge um, get them out of the way a bit otherwise they're quite big and they're an odd shape so it's, so it's hard to put them together um, but I do manage it in the end and I am very happy with what the outcome is I wish I could have done something a lot more complicated but look I am NOT the best builder uh, surprise no you already know that I'm sure I'm not the greatest builder and um, mostly I do it for enjoyment uh, and to make content and uh, to challenge myself. This was a challenge. I've never done this before. I don't often make parks even. Um, but it's a thing I want to do. I want to play more in, in game with builds that I've created rather than downloading everybody else's. Although I do that too and I still will and forever will because people make some amazing things. Um, but yeah, this was... This was a challenge for myself and I'm really, really happy I took it on. I was encouraged by my brother-in-law to try and do some uh, things for Chinese New Year. Um, by the way, what day is that? All this research and I totally forgot to look at when it actually was. I know it spans uh, over a bit of time and the celebration sort of keeps going so I just thought I'd do it now in the middle of Feb. Um, but yeah, let me know when it is. Um, maybe I'll go out and get some Chinese. There's some areas around uh, me where they actually celebrate it. Like they'll come in making all the noise uh, into the restaurant you're in, and I had so much fun. Anyway, um, just saving. <laughs> but I did put a big willow in there. Um, I think I sized it down one. I'm not sure. I think that size down one. Just because I did see a lot of beautiful hanging trees um, in, the, in the Chinese gardens that I looked up. Um, and I did want that sort of feel. Uh, so I did do that. Here I'm looking for benches. I was trying to see if I could find something with gold on it to touch, uh, to tie into that. But in the end, I wasn't quite happy enough with it. And so I went with something that looked more like a sort of a stone bench. Like it was just part of the park. Um, and just hidden away in there, um, which are these ones, which I really like. But I do change the terrain at some point a little bit, and I have to adjust where they are a lot. Um, and that's been one of the um, challenges with, I think, the terrain tools, is that you cannot, like things don't sit flat on the ground, especially if a really big flat plant or something, say like that jungle adventure one, um, it's 
oh, it, it's sticking out of the ground in one spot and in in the other and it's, it's, it's still flat. It doesn't adhere to the terrain and we can't lower things below the terrain just yet. Um, I wish we could. That would be amazing if we could lower things below the terrain. Um, that would open up a huge world of possibilities. Just for one thing, I could lower mirrors down lower than at like my husband's head height and the joke there being my husband's like six foot something. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So he's tall and the mirrors are all at his height. Um, I think if I was to walk through a sim house, it would be uh, me jumping to look in a mirror um, in a lot of cases. So here I'm trying to fix these. I think I end up figuring out how to finally, like I did not realize that this button did this, but I find the flatten ground button and I lower things back down to where they're meant to be. And uh, finally those benches are touching the ground makes me very happy but I did lower this whole path it just seemed very raised up above the water level and I did notice looking at pictures that that's not always the case uh, you want to be a bit lower down to the ground um, so yeah I worked on that and uh, here we are I've got a second little so two little uh, sitting nooks just a very peaceful park I did if you have um, got all of the lot traits available to you. I did give it the um, quiet place um, trait and also penny pixies I thought was kind of appropriate. Um, yeah, so I did that and um, yes, yeah, so it's just a nice little place to I think sit and then when it gets a little bit later at night uh, maybe let off the fireworks and um, yeah celebrate and then maybe head out to a restaurant or something like that this it'd be a fun thing for your sims to do if you wanted to i guess give them a bit more of a cultural feel um yeah i, I don't know maybe i'll do it sometime although i'm so scared of offending someone again please tell me if i'm doing something wrong <laughs> i want to know i want to learn i just really really wanted to do this um yeah so um i hope you're enjoying it here i'm just trying to do a bit more ground coverage with rocks with some of those really basic um, ground covering um, bushes and um, just filling out spaces basically again in pictures I did see that a lot of things were were full there's not just grass space in in the sort of gardens I was looking at and so I did really fill it up um, here looking at these lanterns these are with the update I love them I just wish we got something like lanterns on poles um, <laughs> here I am. I'm trying to. I was trying to um, raise those lanterns up into the tree um, to make it look like they were hanging from the tree. The problem is that um, when you get down to ground level, trees disappear, but the lanterns stay, and it looks it looks wrong. So I just didn't do that in the end. There is another willow with lanterns, but I didn't want to use that one. They didn't seem quite the right color or in theme properly. Um, and I didn't want, uh, mostly they were white. I did not want white lanterns. Um, so yeah, I do find these red ones and I string these across some of the path to make it a little bit more festive and to provide some really nice lighting for nighttime. And then I do come in and find the, um, I think they're from Seasons, the little sort of paper bag lanterns. Um, I grab those and I start spreading them all over the place to make it look, yeah, these ones. Um, sort of decorated for an event rather than just lit for normal life. I've sort of used them to, to um, light it for an event. Uh, that's the feel I was going for. Here I am trying to find some kind of bench or table uh, for my little, um, uh, I keep wanting to call it a shrine. Please tell me what the word is, if there's an actual word. Um, yeah, and I use some of the items again from the free update. Um, yeah, I wanted to put candles there, but I honestly don't know what candles mean in Chinese culture. Can someone tell me? If anybody knows, can you tell me? Because, I, I, again, I did not want to, like, offend anybody. <laughs> Do they mean anything? Um, I'm really curious because um, I wanted to put those red candles there, but for all I know, it means death, and I did not want to do that. Um, <laughs> for all, um, yeah, so uh, here I am working on lighting, a little bit of lighting outside, and then I think we're just about done at this point. So I think I'm going to say goodbye. Yeah. Um, any, oh, here we go. Before I do that, pigs. I put pigs. 
pigs, 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 pigs everywhere. Or at least three of them. The golden pigs again, fortune, gotta love the pigs. Um, <laughs> But yes, no, I'll finish now. Um, anyway, if you do like this, uh, download it from the gallery. Let me know what you think. Uh, here are some screenshots. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you later.